Hello there, my name is Olena and in this video I wanted to share with you some information on the first truly open source analogy to ChatGPT that was just recently released. It is called Open Assistant. The more alternatives we can get for the conversational AI, the better. And I am especially excited about this one because Open Assistant is as close to open source as we can get. Open Assistant is still at its baby steps, but it looks very impressive. Grab some coffee and let's start with a small demo. Let's kick off with a simple question. Who is your favorite character from Harry Potter? Apparently Voldemort, since he is the best villain of all time, since J.K. Rowling has written his story and background is just amazing. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess it can be a valid opinion. I actually asked this question several times. Uh, first time Open Assistant replied that his favorite character is Ron Weasley, and the second time what was uh, Weasley Twins. I, I mean, opinions can differ. Let me try a different topic. I am making a YouTube video about you. Could you give me a good and catchy title for it? And these are some nice options. I like democratizing AI knowledge with open source tools. Exploring the boundaries of human machine collaboration. I would say these are pretty good options. Now, could you write a Twitter message to advertise my video? Get ready for a fascinating conversation about artificial intelligence. In this exclusive interview with Open Assistant, we discuss everything from machine learning techniques to human-machine collaboration. Don't miss it out. Watch now. And some tags. And a LinkedIn message. Okay, here what we got. Are you interested in staying up to date on the latest advancements in artificial intelligence? Check out our new video where I sit down with the team behind Open Assistant. Okay, fantasizing, fantasizing. An open source project by Lion AI. They provide insights into cutting edge machine learning techniques and so on. It does make sense. I didn't provide so much information, so um, it, it made some assumptions. Let's ask it something else. Could you tell me the list of most interesting facts that I should tell the audience about you? Oh, look at this. Open Assistant has multiple plugins available so far, including all of these. I actually didn't know that. I saw the demo with uh, using Google search. I wonder if it's again fantasizing or it's the real stuff. However, the text is smooth and makes total sense. And this is the initial phase of the project. The creators first used labeled examples to train the AI, but now they are using a technique called reinforcement learning, which relies on rewards from humans to optimize the AI model. Open Assistant has two different versions. One is based on Llama and another on Pythia. Llama, so cute comes from FAIR, Meta's AI research lab. Meta released it under a non-commercial license focused on research use cases. It was supposed to be available to researchers and other important people on a case-by-case -case basis. However, since it leaked only shortly after the release, uh, everyone has the access right now. But if you want to use Open Assistant for commercial purposes, then you can't truly really use Llama. However, you can use the Pythia version instead. The web application of Open Assistant at the moment uh, had only Llama, so I couldn't compare those two. However, if you have sufficient hardware, you can play with the models locally by loading them through the Hacking Face Transformers library. Uh, most of the models can run on a single GPU if you have a big enough one. The models themselves and the dataset you can find in Hugging Face. Here you can see what is inside and that the dataset has over 160 
thousand messages in 35 different languages where English and Spanish are the most dominant ones, uh, but there is also other variations if you need. It is annotated with over 460,000 quality ratings, resulting in over 10k fully annotated conversation trees. If you want to read more about it, there is also a paper. And even though this is far from what is used for ChatGPT, it is important to remember that the work on Open Assistant was done worldwide by the crowd sourcing efforts involving over 13 and a half thousand volunteers. So not only you can use this open source dataset however you want, but you can also participate directly in improving it. And once you register, you will get access to the dashboard, which will have various tasks you can do to help training the model. For instance, here is an example. We can help classifying assistant replies. So let's go and see what is here. Here we have a question about browser user agents and uh, the list of properties you can determine from a user agent. And then we have the reply from Open Assistant. To improve this reply or to improve the logic, we need to answer the questions. Was it a spam? Uh, was it a bad reply? Uh, is it not appropriate? Uh, is it a hate speech? And so on. And I, I went through a number of this and I have seen uh, some, um, some interesting questions uh, and some quite logical explanations from Open Assistant to those. Then we need to rate the highlighted message and say the quality, was it helpful, uh, was it serious or humorous, rude or polite, and so on. If you don't know the topic, for example, if you're not aware if this is valid and you can't find the information on this answer, then you can skip and you can try a different question. And this is one of the ways you can help with. Uh, there is also a possibility uh, to reply as an assistant and we can try that and you can provide here your reply to the conversation. Now a bit about the creators of Open Assistant. Open Assistant is made by large-scale artificial intelligence Open Network. Uh, short is Lion? I don't know how exactly to pronounce that, so feel free to correct me. This is the same organization who did Stable Diffusion, a deep learning text-to-image model that was released back in 2022. Uh, the motto of this organization is to make large-scale machine learning models, datasets and related code available to the general public. Um, which brings me back to the topic of open source and why this is such a big deal. Having open sourced AI language models means so much. It is increased transparency, uh, faster development, collaborative innovation and many, many different things. So when it comes to this particular release, the importance is not who is smarter, Open Assistant or ChatGPT, but the fact that with this open source platform infrastructure and awareness in place, all of us can contribute to building a high quality dataset that is open and stays open. OpenAI might have significantly more resources and money to develop ChatGPT, but the Practice shows that open source solutions have the power to leave a much bigger impact on society. So well done the team behind Open Assistant and all the volunteers for shaping the future development and creating an actually open source foundation for interactive AI.